continuing to support you with the tools for success is a top priority for us. In the following quick guide, you'll learn how to create an individual booking using GoCCL Navigator. Let's get started. From the home page of GoCCL, roll your mouse over the Create Booking tab and click Individual Stateroom. GoCCL has several new capabilities and an overall new design to make your jobs faster and easier. Some of our favorites that we think will become your new favorites include the interactive deck plans and the enhanced search that makes it easy for you to filter cruises all in one step and to update your filters throughout the booking process. With the enhanced search feature, you are able to search by sailing or by specific ship and date. In this example, let's search by sailing. Click the dates dropdown, and if a search option is gray, it's not available for the inclusion of this particular search. We could search just for the month of June, or the entire summer. By clicking the Sail To dropdown, we now can select a destination. Let's search Caribbean. If we know the ship name, we can select the ship, or search by departure port or duration. You can also select guest qualifiers at this step in the booking process. These guest qualifiers include interline, military, senior, state of residency, and VIFP number. Simply click the box next to the option you're selecting or choose the state of residency to include resident rates. The VIFP number is another important guest qualifier as past guest or targeted offers for your client may be attached to their VIFP number. If you have their VIFP number, type it in or click the magnifying glass to look up their number. Then click Search Sailings. You can now sort available sailings by earliest departure, latest departure, price, departure port, and length of sailing. Filters for guest qualifiers will appear on the left menu bar of the page. You can modify any of these filters along the booking process. So let's take a moment and make a modification to guest qualifiers by adding another guest. Select the plus sign to do this. When you modify a filter, the Apply Filter button will change from gray to red indicating that you will need to select Apply Filters for the search to be updated. If you don't select Apply Filters, your results will not be updated. Select the duration of the cruise to see the itinerary details. A new window will appear with the details including the ports the sailing will be visiting along with the arrival and departure times. You can click the X in the upper right corner to close this view. If you'd like to learn more about the ship for a specific itinerary, click on the ship link which will open a separate window for the ship page. Here you can view the details about the ship, itineraries available on that ship, along with the deck plan. And to leave this page and return to your booking, just close the window and you'll return to the previous screen. Let's select the sailing on August 14th, 2021, Carnival Vista. We know it's important for you to have easy access to the details of Carnival's different rate codes. So to view these rate code details, select the See Details link. The rate code details will appear on the screen. You can see the per person lead-in price point for each meta category on this screen, or you can compare up to three rate codes at one time. To compare the rate codes, select the text box next to, to the Compare Rates. Select Compare 3 of 3 button to compare the three different rate codes. The Compare Rate Codes window will appear. Here, you can review each rate code by category type and average per person lead rate. You can proceed with the booking process by selecting one of the lead rates in the window or Closing the window. The highlighted rate code will appear in blue. After the rate code is selected, the red continue button will appear. Select it to proceed. 
We are now in the Category Selection page. Here you can toggle between each of the meta categories. In addition, you can view the average per person lead rate per category. Let's select Ocean View for this example. Here you can see the category, stateroom type, and a brief stateroom in the description for that cabin, i.e. Family Harbor or Deluxe Ocean View. You will also see the decks the category is available on. And lastly, you'll see the average per person for the category and the ability to view a quick quote. Select the quick quote to view a quick quote for this category. At the top of the quick quote, you'll see a choice for agent view or guest view. Should you want to email a quote to a client, select the guest view. Under the guest view, you can see the select itinerary, duration, dates for the cruise, departure port, ship, and rate code selected in a snapshot on the blue bar. Itinerary details include arrival and departure times for each port. Pricing will appear with the availability to add vacation protection and prepaid gratuities if they've not already been added. Fare information, payment schedule, rate code details, and terms and conditions are also available here. Enter the email address for the client you wish to email this to. If you have more than one email, include a comma after each of the email addresses. We know how important it is for you to create a unique and personalized message for your client. So you can use this section to enter your personalized message to your client that will appear when you email the quick quote. This section though is limited to 150 characters. The quick quote email has been enhanced to a new look and feel. In the email, your guests will be able to see your message to them along with the itinerary, duration, and dates for the selected cruise. The ship and stateroom selected as well as the itinerary details and the quote which include the cruise rate, miscellaneous charges, plus the total all appear. The fare information and payment schedule will appear along with the rate code details and the terms and conditions. The selected category will be highlighted in blue and the red continue button will appear. Select the continue button to proceed. You can use the ship section to view staterooms available based on the section of the ship. The area highlighted in red is what's currently showing on the stateroom map. If you wish to view a different section of the stateroom, select that area. Here you can also view and choose from available decks for that stateroom category. Going back to the deck plan view, let's select a stateroom and the red continue button to proceed with the booking process. We are now on the guest information page where you will enter the guest information for each guest in the cabin. On the guest information page, you will have the ability to add or remove both the carnival vacation protection and prepaid gratuities. Click continue to next guest to proceed. Complete the same process for the second and the third guest, as in this example. Then select review and continue with the booking process. You will be directed to the review and book screen where you can review the guest information for the booking. On the review screen, you can verify the price details. You can also select your client's preferred confirmed dining time and link it to reservation numbers for any bookings for friends or family that may be traveling with these guests. View the rate code details, the travel agent price breakdown, and the payment schedule. You can view your commission that you earned on this booking and should the promotion have a perk such as onboard credit, you'll see it here. Here we have the link to view Carnival's terms and conditions, guest ticket cruise contract, and the cancellation policy. To confirm the booking, agree to the terms and conditions. After you agree to the terms and conditions, you'll see the Make Payment button and the Hold Options button available for selection. For this booking, let's select the Hold option. 
Your client's booking is now complete. And here's the booking number. You can also send yourself an agent booking confirmation instantly. No waiting on hold. You can also email your client a guest confirmation. We hope that you found this video helpful and thank you for all that you do. We are grateful for your support.